Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the object-oriented methodologies. In 1980s, many methodologists were wondering how analysis and design methods and processes would fit into an object-oriented world. Object-oriented methods suddenly had become very popular and it was apparent that the technique to help people execute good analysis and design were just as important as the object-oriented methodologies, sometimes called second-generation object-oriented methods. Many methodologies are available to choose from system development. The methodology is based on modeling the business problem and implementing the differences lie primary in the documentation of the information, modeling notation, and languages. An application can be implemented in many ways to meet some requirement and provide the same functionality. Two people using the methodology may produce application design that look radically different. This does not necessarily mean that one is right and one is wrong, just that they are different. The various methodologies and their notations are developed by three major persons. They are Jim Rambok, Grady Book, and Eva Jacobson. This is the origin of UML, that is Unified Modeling Language. Each method has its own strength. When it comes to the Rambok method, it describes the object model or static structure of the system. The Jacobson method is a good for providing user-driven analysis models and the book method produces detailed object-oriented design methods. So there arise a question, what is object-oriented methodology? It is a new system development approach encouraging and facilitating reuse of software components it employs international standard that is UML from the object management group. By using this methodology, a system can be developed on a component basis which enable the effective reuse of existing components and it facilitate the sharing of other system components. The object oriented methodology asks the analyst to determine what the object of the system are what the responsibilities and relationships an object has to do with other objects and how they behave over time. So as we mentioned, there are three types of methodologies. First of all, the object modeling technique or OMT. Second is the object process methodology that is OPM. And third one is Rational Unified Process or R. UP. Firstly, we are discussing the object modeling technique or OMT. It was one of the first object oriented methodology that was introduced by Rambok in 1991. The OMT uses three different models that are combined in a way and is analogous to the older structured methodology. They are analysis, OMT models, and design. When it comes to the analysis, the main goal of analysis is to build models of the world. The requirement of the users, developers, and managers provide the information needed to develop the initial problem statement. Second is the OMT model, and it has three subclasses. First is the object model, second is the dynamic model, and third is functional model. The object model depicts the object classes and their relationship as a class diagram which represent the static structure of a system. It observes all objects as static and does not pay any attention to their dynamic nature. Second is the dynamic model. It captures the behavior of a system over time and the flow control and events in the event trace diagram and state transition diagram. It portrays the changes occurring in the states of various objects with the events that might occur in the system. And third one is a functional model. 
it describes the data transformation of the system and it describes the flow of data and the changes that occur to the data throughout the system and finally it comes to the design phase the design specifies all the details needed to describe how the system will be implemented and in this phase the details of the system analysis and system design are implemented and the object identified in the system design phase are designed so these are the introduction to the OMT model when it comes to the OPM that is object processing model it is also called as second generation methodology which was firstly introduced in 1995 it has only one diagram that is object process diagram OPD which is used for modeling the structure function and behavior of the system it has a strong emphasis on modeling but has a weaker emphasis on processes it contains three main processes initiating developing and deploying in the initiating it determines high level requirement the scope of the system and the resources that will be required in the developing phase it involves the detailed analysis design and implementation of the system and when it comes to the deploying phase it introduces the system to the user and subsequent maintenance of the system so this is the second type of model that is OPM or object process methodology and when we come to the rational unified process or RUP it was developed by the rational corporation in 1998 and it consists of four phases which can be broken down into iterations those phases are inception elaboration construction and transition each iteration consists of nine work areas called disciplines a discipline depend upon the phase in which the iteration is taking place and for each discipline RUP define a set of artifacts that is work products activities that is work undertaken on artifacts and the roles that is the responsibility of the members of the development team so this is a simple model or the third model called as a rational unified process so my dear students in this lecture we had discussed the object oriented methodology the fundamental methodologies are introduced in 1990s by Jacobson Rumbog and book and the three methodologies that is the Rumbog methodology book methodology and Jacobson methodology will be discussed in the upcoming set of lectures so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is write in detail about OMT that is object modeling technique secondly object process methodology OPM and third one is a rational unified process that is RUP so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the Rumbog methodology or object modeling technique so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best